it's that time of year sweet corn is coming in and I want to show you a quick way to put up corn for the freezer anybody can do this it's very easy so stop by your local farmers market and get you a box of corn and let's get this put in your freezer so the first step um, after purchasing this bushel of corn is you've got to shuck it it's very simple you're just going to peel off um, all the outer layers of the corn husk and try to remove as much of the silk which is the little silky pieces that are wrapped around the corn. Try to remove as much of that as possible. Check for any um, bugs. Sometimes you'll get some worms in corn and that's fine. You can just cut that piece out. But um, this corn was very good and fresh and didn't have any bugs in it at all. And this is sweet corn. This is the bicolor. And that's the kind I prefer over white. Because sometimes white um, corn is it's, it's just not as fully developed as I like it, and I like the bicolor, which is yellow and white. So just by hand, I'm gonna take all this um, shucks off this um, bushel of corn, then we'll move on to the next step. And I put all these husks in my compost pile. They make great compost. So I'm gonna go over to the sink, and we're gonna start washing the corn. And I usually wash my corn um, with a cloth. I, I, I don't like to use a brush or anything because that kind of um, tears into the flesh of the corn. So I just take a washcloth, a clean one, and I just run it under water and trying to get off as much of that silk as possible. Now sweet corn is so good. Um, it has a really good flavor. It's very tender. So and now is the time, pretty much the end of May and through the month of June, when you can get sweet corn um, at your farmers market or people on the side of the road you'll see them with their trucks full of corn um, and this is my favorite I love to go to the state farmers market where there's truckload after truckload of people selling big um, bushel bags of corn I like this over um, canned corn because it's so sweet and fresh tasting Again, I'm just using some cool water and I'm washing off all the ears of corn. And over on my stove, I have a pot of boiling water because we need to blanch this corn. Blanch means you're just um, very lightly cooking it to prevent it from turning um, color once you put it in the freezer. So you're pretty much setting the corn for freezing when you blanch it. So I have a big pot of water over on the stove and after we get through washing all the ears of the corn, we're gonna go over to the stove and start blanching. And you drop your ears of corn into boiling water and you set a timer for 10 minutes, making sure all of the corn gets um, under the water and boils. Now back over in the sink, I had another big pot with cold water and some ice cubes in it. So after I set my timer, and this boils for 10 minutes, I'm gonna dip it into that ice water. And that stops the cooking process, and that's very important. I actually did not get a video of that step. So put your corn in the water, bring it to a boil, let it boil for 10 minutes, and then take it out and dip it into the ice water. And that's all there is for blanching. As you can see, I've got a nice big um, wash tub full of corn, which is gonna make some great corn for my freezer. You don't put any salt, you don't put any butter, you don't put any seasonings on it. We're just getting it ready now for freezing. So now that it has boiled for 10 minutes, I'm taking it out of the water, and then I'm gonna put another set in the boiling water while I go take this pot over to the sink and dip in the ice water. See how easy this is? Anybody can do this. This is so simple. And it's a great way to pack your freezer um, so that you'll have nice corn during the winter months. And there it is. That's all there is to it. And then I start filling the pot back up again. And after all the corn is processed and it has been dipped in the ice water and cooled, then we're gonna go over and start taking it off the cob. Now you can freeze corn on the cob. Um, I would suggest you leave it in the husk and just cut off um, either end, but just leave it in the green husk 
remove any big loose outer leaves and then cut off each end and then you can wrap those in freezer bags and you can freeze it um, on the cob and that's fine. I like it off the cob, it's just a quick way to have a nice side dish with supper. So I've got a bunt pan, this is what I use to get my corn off the cob and I just, with a very sharp knife, just go down the sides. You don't want to go too deep into the cob. You can kind of feel as to how deep you need to go when it just slides down with ease. And then the bunt pan works great because it catches all the loose kernels. Then I give those um, pieces to the chickens and they absolutely love it. And that's how I take it off the cob. So now all the corn has been off, taken off the cob and I'm going to pack it for the freezer. So you could use freezer bags, quart bags. I like to use my food saver and um, take out any air. So I'm, this is for my husband and myself, so I just put two cups in each quart bag, which is plenty for just the two of us. If you have a larger family, you may want to do four cups in a bag. Again, you can use the Ziploc freezer bags. That's perfectly fine for this. I just like to take all the air out and use my food saver. So once you've got it all packed in and you're going to take out the air and seal it, you're going to put it in the freezer. And I always try to pack double pack, so I'll take two or three of these and put them in a gallon um, Ziploc freezer bag. Just protects it from getting any freezer burn. I don't like um, pressure canning corn. I tried that last year and it just took all the sweetness out. This is so much easier and better, so I'm just going to stick with freezing the corn. And you can take this out of the freezer and you can put it in your, on your stove, add some water and butter and seasoning and eat it like that. You can drop a bag of this corn into a big pot of soup or some corn chowder. And it's just Whatever you can do with a can of corn, you can do with this freezer corn. So hopefully this has um, helped you to see that it's not that hard um, to put up corn in your freezer. Maybe you can get with a friend and the two of you can knock it out in no time. I put up corn for my daughter-in-law and I'm going to go to my sister's house soon and we're going to be putting up corn together um, for her freezer. So I think I ended up with like eight quart bags of nice corn for the freezer. And you see how I've double bagged it. So I hope you'll give this a try. Pack up your freezer and get it nice and full. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing. Have a great day.